Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about applying automotions to your character in uh, talking scenarios. So if you want to uh, have your character exhibit certain emotions or expressions when you're talking automatically, this is the tutorial for you. And I'm going to teach you a little bit, a couple of more advanced techniques uh, than we had in the first tutorial. So if I play back right now, you can see that we don't have any animation applied to our character currently. So we need to fix that by applying some audio. And for audio, I'm just going to use this practice audio folder over here. So these are the default audio files that are included with Crazy Talk 8. And we're going to apply a quick marriage uh, audio right here. And we're going to be using talk mode in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and use talk mode. Marriage is a wonderful institution. But who wants to live in an institution? Okay, so you can see with our regular auto motion, uh, he doesn't look too enthusiastic about what he's saying. So we obviously want to change that and add a little bit more expression and emotion uh, to this character. And we can do that with auto motion. So let's go ahead and go back to frame one. Let's press F3 to go into our timeline here. And you can see in our auto motion track, we have this uh, talk 3D mode clip. This is just your default uh, auto motion clip that gets applied. So what happens is as, as long as your playhead, this little red line here is over top of your uh, clip right here, and you have an auto motion clip right here, then you can apply any different auto motion to that entire clip. So if we go to our regular animation, our uh, base animation folder here, and we go into auto motion, I'm going to be using some scenario automotions in this part here, and we're going to be using some in the talk folder. All right, so let's go ahead and apply a couple of different emotions to this clip. But before we do that, what I'm going to do is because the beginning of the clip is very enthusiastic uh, uh, speech, and we're going to apply some, you know, excited kind of animation to that. So let's go ahead right here after he says, marriage is a wonderful institution, and then there's the but. And then, but who wants to live in an institution over there? So let's go ahead and right click at this point here. This is when the emotion is set to change. And let's break the clip. So now we have two separate auto motion clips. And you can move these around if you want as well. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to control Z that for now. Uh, we're going to keep the same timing that we have in our original clip. So at this first part here where he says marriage is a wonderful institution, we obviously want him to be a little bit more enthusiastic about what he's saying, you know. Um, so let's go ahead and put our playhead anywhere here in the middle of the first clip and let's go to our base folder again here auto motion and scenario let's just go back to that talk one and what i'm going to do here is you can notice from these icons the kind of expressions that they're meant to exhibit so this one here this kids talking one looks very enthusiastic for example this looks like a suitable auto motion for what we're trying to express in the first part of this clip here um you know we wouldn't want to use something like this uh whispering one or uh you know yelling one uh we probably want to have a you know innocent kind of enthusiastic type uh auto motion so let's go ahead and apply that kid talking one double click marriage is a wonderful institution all right so it's a bit more enthusiastic than it was before now let's tweak that a little bit by going into the auto motion settings right here you can also use the a hotkey and up here at the top, we have a couple options to turn the audio on and off. We may turn it off later because we'll be repeating the same audio over and over again here as we preview. Um, layer on and off basically means if you have like transform mo motions, your character is moving around the, the screen, um, you can choose this layer off or layer on. Uh, if you have the layer on, that's going to have your character move, but we're going to choose layer off. So we don't have any transform motions. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, let's go ahead and go into our global settings here. We have parts and global. Now you can see when I applied that kid talking auto motion, we have a couple of values here in the parts section that were automatically applied. Um, here is the body movement, uh, body movement right here. You can see uh, body move up and down 40, a value of 20 for back and front. This is the body rotate right here. We don't have rotation. This is the head. We have head movement, a little bit of head movement here. And we have some head rotation as well, down and up. And we have here a delay. So this delay will allow you, our offset, basically it's a delay, will allow you to delay the um, auto motion according to the wavelength here. We'll talk more about that in detail in a sec. And you can just click on individual items here in your reference image and get those various values. This one here is ping pong. So this one allows you to, you know, um, Instead of your character, you know, always moving to the right, um, for every peak in the wavelength, he can move to the right and the left at this, uh, during the same auto motion. So it's just kind of, you know, ping-ponging the character rotation or movement back and forth. And we'll get more into that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and talk about these global settings first. 
Now, strength is pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and uh, press preview. Wonderful institution. What happens when we preview? It's going to replay is a this audio over and over and over again. So let's go ahead and turn the audio off for now because I'm pretty sure you don't want to he be hearing that over and over again. And we can change the strength value. You can see the strength result right there. We want more strength or less strength. Pretty straightforward. Let's just keep that one at 100 or 99, whatever. And let's move on to threshold. Threshold is basically, um, you can see down here in this clip, there's a little blue line. If I click and drag my threshold, or it's purple, I guess, if I click and drag the threshold, you can see that only the areas of the wavelength that are peaking above that line will affect the character's movement. So if you have your threshold very high, you'll have very little movement um, whatsoever. You probably won't have any at all. Um, but as we move our threshold down, we have more reaction. Um, the uh, audio file is affecting the character more. All right, so you can use those two. Uh, sampling rate basically just means how smooth the animation is. If you have a lower sampling rate, it might be a little bit more jittery like this. You can see it's quite jittery. Every little kind of peak in the wavelength makes them shake around a little bit. If we increase the sampling rate, you can see it's a little bit smoother. Um, but you also want to use smooth, the actual smooth slider with sampling rate as well. Um, smooth will kind of smooth things out even further. So you can see now we have very little shaking. We can increase that even more. And you see we have you know, pretty much very little shaking. You can also enhance that by using spring values as well. If I increase spring to like one, you can see he springs a little bit more and uh, we can increase spring to like eight and he's you know bouncing around quite a bit here. Um, spring and smooth kind of counteract each other. So if you bring the smooth down um, and the spring up, you're gonna get a very bouncy animation. But as you increase the smooth value, your spring value won't be as springy. Um, but it's, it's a good thing to do to like, you know, have a relatively, you know, average spring value and kind of smooth that out um, according to the specific kind of reaction or movement that you want. So I think this one's pretty good for now. We also have these uh, values here for uh, ease in, ease out, and ease in two, ease out two. Um, you can experiment with these. Basically what it means is if I use, say for example, let's increase our spring value. I will talk more about this in our dancing, um, you know, automotion tutorial, but if you have ease out, for example, notice that our character, there's more action happening at the beginning of the peak. So if I turn the audio wonderful back on institution. here. Marriage is a wonderful institution. You can see that there's a lot more Marriage action happening at the beginning of the, uh, of the actual Marriage automotion, is a the actual wonderful institution. If we change this down to like ease in, for example, institution. Marriage is a wonderful see, it kind institution. Of eases more into it. it eases Marriage into it. is a wonderful There's a bit institution. There's more of a delay. It's almost like the same Marriage thing as the offset. Marriage is a wonderful institution. Value in the part section here. Marriage is a wonderful um, so institution. So ease out will happen. Like it will make Marriage the animation is a, wonderful institution. a lot more jumpy. Basically. Marriage is a wonderful institution. And ease out or ease in two. Marriage is a wonderful is institution. Type of setting you can experiment with. Marriage is a wonderful that institution. Let's turn the audio off because that's gonna. I don't want to be talking over this guy the whole time. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use ease in because I think ease in creates a nice smooth result. And then we get something like this. He's very enthusiastic. And you can also change from spring from half, uh, soft to hard. So you can see now the spring is very hard as opposed to uh, the smooth, uh, the smoother value we had before. Um, and if you, you know, turn that spring down, you can get a really shaky kind of animation right there. Let's keep that at soft though because I like the soft kind of more natural result right there. And I think these values are okay for me right here. Now we're, we'll talk more about these motion settings in the next scenario here when we talk about the second clip. But let's move on to parts now. So as I mentioned before, uh, when you apply an auto motion, it sets some default values to each individual part. So I can go from left shoulder to right shoulder. Um, speaking of the shoulders and the eyeballs, these body parts individually have this option here for mirror and copy. So say, for example, uh, let's mess around with the eyes a little bit. Let's change the eyes to a value, or the left eye here, to a value of, you know, negative 100. Okay? So notice that now the left eye is kind of moving down, whereas the other one has the regular value. If I take that and I select copy, you're going to see both eyes go down now. So basically what I've done is I copy this value from the left eyeball to the right eyeball, right there. So it's an easy way to copy it. And that only works for the eyeballs and the shoulders. Um, you also have the option to mirror. If we select the left eye and mirror it, the other eye, the other eye is going to go basically the opposite way. And then we have this uh, value of 100 as opposed to negative 100 right there. So it doesn't work for the uh, offset or the ping pong. Um, just keep that in mind. Let's just go ahead and uh, copy this value. So 
Um, actually, let's use a value of like negative 50 that we had before there, and we'll just copy it over. So that looks pretty normal. And we can do things like, you know, raise the cheeks if we want. Um, you can droop or raise the cheeks, uh, the chin. Uh, you can move the chin. Notice that we can, you know, have him like rah, 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 top of the corner of his mouth there if we move the chin uh, to the left. Uh, let's just keep that value out of like whatever, zero. And we also have the option here, I like this one here. If we click on this area, a little area above the nose here, you have the option to close the eyes or enlarge the eyes. So if I close my right eye, you can see he's like kind of winking. Marriage is a wonderful institution. He's kind of winking in a sarcastic way or something like that. We'll keep that down though because we want to seem like genuinely enthusiastic. So let's enlarge the eyes. And you can see when we do that, the eyes get really enlarged. We don't have any delay on that and uh, no ping pong. Again, we'll worry about these things more as we get into the dancing tutorial because that's talking more about rhythm and delays and all that stuff. So I think we're good with hit with this right here. Let's go ahead and turn on the audio. Marriage is a wonderful institution. All right. Marriage is a wonderful you can increase institution. The eyebrows or marriage is a wonderful take one of the institution. Eyebrows down if we want. Marriage I think we'll is see a the wonderful institution. And we'll marriage just go ahead and stop the preview and we'll go ahead and apply that. Marriage is a wonderful institution. Okay, and then here comes the sarcastic part, but who wants to live in an institution? And this part here is where we're going to modify. We're going to talk a little bit about in the global settings, these motion settings, because we're going to blend, uh, blend it together with a motion clip. All right, so let's go ahead and apply another auto motion to this section right here. Um, and you can see that when we do that, we'll have a different auto motion. Uh, so let's go here and mm, sarcastic. We can use this seducing one, for example. But who wants to live in an institution? It does kind of look a little bit sarcastic, but you can also apply other ones like this spoiled teen one. But who wants to live in an institution? All right. Uh, we can even try something like the whispering one. But who wants to Looks live in an institution? Very careful and whispering. Uh, but let's go ahead and apply something like the uh, seducing one right here for now. But who wants to live in an institution? Okay, so now what we can do is we can modify this even further by going again to our auto motion settings right here. And let's, t let's focus more on the motion settings down here. So with each auto motion, you can load in a motion clip as well to blend into that auto motion. And you can see here we have the option to blend motion clip. If we take that off and let's preview. Live in an institution. But who wants to live in an institution? We take away that smile. But However, we put that on, he's got that sly little smile there. But and we can increase the in strength of that smile as well, if you we want, by increasing the emotion in strength value here. Let's just uh, turn the audio off for now. Um, let's go ahead and try and blend this in with something else. So again, the same thing with the values above, you can blend those in and modify these values like I mentioned before. Let's go ahead and open another motion settings, and this will open up your motion clip 3D uh, folder right here. You should be able to find it in this directory structure uh, right here under Realization Content Templates, uh, Kizutagi Template, Motion Clip 3D. And I'm going to load in something like, uh, let's load in this sinister smile. There's a silly smile. We'll load in that one first and take a look. So we can turn the audio on. Who wants to live in an institution? <laughs> so he's kind of like chuckling but to himself. Who wants to live and you in can an institution? blend emotion strength a little bit less if but you want. Who wants to live in an institution? Okay, so that's kind of like but a giggling type, de type deal. Let's open the uh, sinister smile. This is the kind of sarcastic smile that I want to get. So let's go ahead and preview but that. Who wants to live in an institution? And you but can see he has a little kind of uh, in an look from one side to the other, which I like. But I like that kind of. Who wants to live in an institution? Looks almost like but for for comedic effect, you get something like that. It looks a little bit better, I think. But who if we wants blend to that in a little bit more, you can see he has that kind of looking from side to side. All right, so I I, I kind of like that effect right there. And so we get the seducing but kind of look combined with that sinister smile, looking from side to but side. Who wants to live in an institution? All right, and but you can smooth this out as well if you want. Institution. You can add uh, like but an ease in. Who wants to live in an institution? Okay, and I can increase the strength of that reaction if you want. Let's just go ahead and apply that. But who wants to live in an institution? All right, so we get that kind of you know sarcastic, seducing kind of look like that, and then he looks from side to side, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's the effect that I want to go for. So if we play back the entire thing now, marriage is a wonderful institution. Who wants to live in an institution? All right, so we blended those two together. Now, another thing you can do is, say, for example, we didn't want this, like, you know, kind of, like, 
chest bump type uh, motion there at the beginning of this, what we can do is we can actually break this up. Uh, we can actually just, uh, first of all, take this and right click on the entire clip and we can copy it to the motion track. So motion track will override any auto motion you have, uh, basically. So for example, if I go like this, if I just play this back now, we can, we can actually delete the, uh, regular motion. And if we do that, we're not going to have the audio, but we're going to have the motion retained. So if you don't want the audio, you want the motion retained, you can do that. I, I want the audio still, so I'm going to control Z that. And what we're going to do is, uh, but who wants to live in an institution? And this part at the beginning where he starts to like look from side to side is kind of the part I want to keep. It blends quite nicely, but if we want to, you know, say for example, put something else in there, let's break up this motion clip here and let's delete the first part. So now this part here is going to be the auto motion. And right now it looks the same, but now if we apply a different auto motion to this, let's try something like uh, the bragging auto motion, for example. But who wants to live in an institution? You can see now we got rid of that kind of like weird looking chest thing. And here he's, he's got that kind of bragging, sarcastic look. And we've blended that in to the auto motion right there. And you can blend that auto motion in, you know, you can put that wherever you want. If you want it to be over here, you can do that. Who wants to live in an institution? Okay, so it's basically blended in uh, to wherever you want. I'm going to keep it at the end right there. And so now the final result that we have is just like this. Marriage is a wonderful institution, but who wants to live in an institution? All right, we got that nice kind of automotion smile look right there. So you can, you know, uh, break these clips. Um, like I mentioned before, automotion, or rather motion clip uh, tracks, uh, motion clip clips, AKA clips found in the motion clip track will always override the auto motion. So keep that in mind. However, you can always customize your auto motion. You can, uh, you know, right click and bring that over to the motion clip track right there. And then you can break up the motion clip and, uh, you know, put it into as many sections as you want. So really there's a lot of different ways you can customize this. So just keep that in mind. And like I mentioned before, when you're in your auto motion settings here, when you're, uh, you have this layer setting on or off, if we go over here, we have that layer setting on or off. This is where the transform track comes in into play here. So for example, if we went to like, uh, say for example, just, you know, frame whatever it is, 30, and we uh, press the, uh, this button over here to move our character, we can move him like this and there'd be a transform keyframe. If we move him over here, there's a transform keyframe. Um, you know, in this second, we can move him up here. So now we'd have a motion Marriage like is this. a wonderful institution. If you wanted to do that for some reason. However, if you're editing your auto motions and you didn't want, didn't want him to keep moving around like that, you can turn this, if we preview this, for example. Marriage is a wonderful institution. You can turn that layering off. Marriage is a wonderful institution. Uh, turn the uh, yeah, layer off. Marriage is a wonderful right institution. There. So that's kind of what that does, all right? Just to kind of show you an example there at the end, let's just delete all these uh, keyframes here by clicking and dragging and pressing delete. And if I play back now. Marriage is a wonderful institution. Who wants to live in an institution? All right, so that's kind of our final motion right there. So all I wanted to do is kind of show you how you can customize auto motions. Again, we didn't get too much into the parts or the delays or ping pong and stuff like that. And we'll focus more on that in our dance tutorial uh, for advanced auto motion as well. So that's about, it. that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And I will see you next time.